Adler, our favorite administrator, resident Zoe Goober, is an interesting fellow indeed. But have you ever found yourself wondering, well, how much cake does he possess? Of course you have. Who hasn't? And today, I will answer that very question. Our first step to finding an answer to this question takes us to the amazing software that is Unity. From this god-tier software that all of us love, we can navigate our way to the model file for Adler. This file is glorious, and from here, in theory, all we have to do is measure the pixels of Adler's ass, use a pixel converter, like the VSL Unorthodox Calculator, and boom. Well, my good friends, now it is we run into a small problem. See, if you do this work, you get a solution that simply isn't lore accurate. I would know, I'm the Signalis War guy. We find a curvature of asshood that calculates to about 5 centimeters, and a corresponding volume of, like, I don't know, about 375 centimeters cubed. This is obviously too small, and couldn't possibly be the value that Yuri and Babs intended for the magnificent Kate King himself. So to find a more accurate answer, we must consider two other factors. The first of these two factors is density. Density in science is how much of something occupies a certain space, and seeing how we don't have a lot of space here to work with, we must question how much cake is Adler able to pack into that package. The answer may surprise you. We know Adler's shell is made out of polyethylene, and this substance should be, wait a minute, it's less dense. So you're telling me replicas have less cake per square meter than the average human? Damn, that is honestly a tragedy, and uh, I know, for one, I am personally going to be losing some sleep over this finding. So, time for attempt two. To fix this discrepancy, and really look at this from a different angle, we must first consider what it even means to exist in reality. The first dimension is lines, the second dimension is planes, and the third dimension is space. This is usually the level where we measure cake at. However, for Adler, it doesn't seem to be working. So we must go further, we must go higher. Adler is a being that has heavy connections to the very distortion of time, broken cycles and all that. He's, he's the one who sees all these cycles and notes them down, thus making him aware of their nature. Adler is a being who is theorized to have become a host or messenger for the very king in yellow himself, a being beyond this world. Adler even has a quote where he feels as though when he looks out, He's looking into multiple different timelines and possibilities within a single point. So it is here, by considering these connections, that we can find the answer to the question of how big Adler's cake is from an actually logical standpoint. And the answer to the question is the fourth dimension, time. Adler's cake is beyond space, for it is a relic that is truly timeless. Thus, I think it can be safely said that Adler's cage should be me measured in centimeters raised to the fourth power, the fourth power being time, fourth dimensional. And seeing how he has existed for plenty of cycles, but we know it's a minimum of around 80, we can measure Adler's rear as being th its third dimensional space multiplied by his distortion in space, which we're going to be stating is 80 cycles. We find out that when you do all of that math and you multiply those two numbers together, you find a solution that calculates out to about 30,000 centimeters to the fourth power. And honestly, I feel like that number, you know, 30,000, that sounds much more accurate to the true Asler that we know and love. So we've measured the cantaloupes on this beautiful little goober, and we found an accurate answer that actually reflects the vision that the devs of Rose Engine truly intended. I feel like today has been a fairly successful adventure. Hopefully you all enjoyed this deep dive into the lore of one of the most important questions that we haven't had the chance to answer yet. If you enjoy stuff like this, be sure to like and subscribe, and leave comments if you have any other similar concepts that you would like to see explored. If you'd like to talk to me or other Signalis fans, I have a link to my Discord down below. But until next time, this has been Christopher Beast. See ya!